Hello friends, welcome to a fresh new episode of our channel RG Innovations. If you have not subscribed already, please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and select all to get all future notifications of our video uploads. In today's video, we are going to discuss about KY024 Linear Magnetic Hall Sensor. The KY024 is a Hall Effect Sensor module used to detect presence and strength of a magnetic field. This module is typically employed in DIY electronics projects and various applications involving magnetic field detection such as proximity sensing, speed measurement, and current sensing. Let us first learn in brief about what is a magnetic Hall sensor. Named after the American physicist Edwin Hall, who discovered the electricity and magnetism can work together to move objects, Hall effect sensors use this principle to convert magnetically encoded information into electrical signals. Using semiconductors such as silicon, Hall effect sensors work by measuring the changing voltage when the device is placed in a magnetic field. The output Hall voltage from the Hall effect sensor is directly proportional to the strength of the magnetic field passing through the semiconductor material. Often, this output voltage is quite small, equal to only a few microvolts. With many Hall effect devices, including built-in DC amplifiers alongside logic switching circuits, and voltage regulators which are there to help improve the sensitivity and therefore effectiveness of the device. Here are few applications of the magnetic hall sensor. Wheel speed sensors used in anti-brake system to monitor wheel speed. Throttle position, throttle position sensor detect the position of the throttle in a car's engine. Smartphone compasses provide orientation information for navigation apps. Laptop lead sensor detect when the laptop lead is opened or closed to put the device into sleep or wake mode. Rotary encoders measures the rotational position of a shaft or motor. Proximity sensors detect the presence of objects commonly used in manufacturing lines. Washing machines sense the position of the drum and control its speed. Refrigerators detect whether the door is open or closed. We are not going into much detailed theory about a Hall sensor. Now let us learn today's module which is KY024 Linear Magnetic Hall Sensor. This module is called Linear Sensor because the analog voltage output is proportional to the strength of the magnet. Now let us get introduced to the components of this module. This is 49E linear Hall effect sensor. This is the primary sensor component that detects magnetic fields and produces an analog voltage proportional to the field strength. The comparator IC which is LM393 processes the analog signal from the Hall effect sensor and converts it into a digital output. Adjustable potentiometer. It is a 100K potentiometer used to set the sensitivity of the sensor that is the threshold at which the digital output switches high or low status. If we turn it anti-clockwise, the sensitivity of the module decreases and if we turn it clockwise, the sensitivity of the module increases. The power LED. This is the power LED indicates that module is powered and this is the signal LED. It indicates when the sensor detects a magnetic field. Now. Let's see the output pins. The first pin is the AO pin or the analog out pin where we get the analog voltage. The ground pin or the negative power supply pin. The VCC pin or the power supply pin usually 3.3 volt to 5 volt. And the DO pin or the digital out pin provides a digital signal high or low based on the presence of a magnetic field. Now how this KY024 module works? The 49E Hall's effect sensor generates an analog voltage when exposed to a magnetic field. This voltage is proportional to the strength of the magnetic field. Then the LM393 comparator IC processes this analog voltage and provides a digital output that changes state based on the threshold set by the potentiometer. The digital output changes from low to high when the magnetic field exceeds the set threshold. And analog output provides a continuous voltage proportional to the magnetic field strength. Now enough of theory, we will see the connection of the KY024 module with an Arduino. The circuit diagram is very simple. We have connected the ground pin and the VCC pin with the ground pin of the Arduino and the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. Then the AO pin or the analog out pin with the analog input pin 0 or A0 of the Arduino and then the digital out pin to the digital IO pin 3 of the Arduino. 
the circuit is very simple now we will see the prototype of the circuit then we will see the arduino sketch and then the practical demonstration this is the prototype of the circuit that we have shown here we have added one led to pin number 13 of the arduino in parallel with the built-in led because the built-in led is too small and it may not be seen during the demonstration so we have connected a parallel led with the built-in led via a resistor to control the current so this led will glow when the magnetic field is detected near this magnetic hall sensor we have shown everything of this module in the theory section this is the hall sensor this is the potentiometer this is the ic comparator ic lm393 and here are two leds the power led is glowing and here the output LED whether it glows we will see during the demonstration time now let us see the Arduino sketch then we will upload the sketch onto this Arduino Nano this is the Arduino sketch the sketch is very simple we have taken the LED pin variable to pin number 13 digital pin to pin number 3 where it will take the digital input analog pin to pin A0 where it will take the analog input the digital valve to store the digital value analog valve to store the analog readings and in the setup section we have declared the led pin to output the digital pin to input we need not to define the analog pin when we take the analog read it will automatically be detected as an input pin then we have started serial communication and in the code we have read the digital value from the digital output pin and if the digital value is high then we have turned the built-in led to high if it is low then we have turned the led to low then we have read the analog value from the analog pin then we have printed into the serial monitor the digital output value and then the analog output value then a small delay to reduce the frequency of serial output so this is our arduino sketch now we will upload it into the arduino and see the demonstration so let us upload it into the arduino while it uploads let us move on to the prototype now the sketch is loaded into the arduino and now we will see what happens when we bring a magnet closer to this module we have a magnet here where the south pole and north pole is mentioned now we are bringing the north pole closure to the hall sensor but nothing is happening no output is detected it is because the hall sensor face is activated by the south pole of a magnet so if we bring the south pole then the output led will turn on you see here also you can see the output LED is turned on and here also the output LED is turned on. So the hall sensor gets activated by the south pole only. So it can be used as a pole detector of a magnet. So in this magnet we have the poles printed on the magnet. But if there is any other magnet where the poles are not printed like a neodymium magnet like this it does not have the poles printed on it so if we bring it closer to the magnet let's see what happens at one side the output led is glowing that means that side is the south side south pole if we bring the other side the sensor is not working that means it is the north pole it will be easier if i stick the magnet to a screwdriver and bring it to closer to the sensor see I am bringing it closer to the sensor but there is no output that means we are bringing the north pole closer to the sensor but if we turn it if we just turn it simply and if we bring it closer now we can see the output that means we are bringing the south pole closer to the hall sensor but one thing we need to say here as we can see the south pole works to this side of the sensor if we bring the south pole to the opposite side of the sensor it will not work but if we bring the north pole to this side this will work you see i am turning it the south pole is not working here the south pole is working here but if i bring the south pole to the back side of the sensor it is not working if i bring the north pole of the magnet to the back side of the sensor then the sensor is working so this is the digital output part of this module now we will see the analog output of the module let us split the screen half and half let's turn on the serial monitor you can see the digital output is zero the analog output is somewhere around 500 this analog output voltage is half of the voltage that is applied to the module that means we have applied 5 volt to the module 
it is half of that voltage that means it's approximately 2.5 volt at the analog input that is why it is showing approx somewhere around 500 which is half of the applied voltage now we will bring the magnet to the sensor see when the output is high it is showing digital output 1 and the analog output reduced to somewhere around 300 even if we bring it more closer it will be approx 200 and if we bring the opposite side of the magnet to the sensor the digital output will remain zero but the analog output will increase to somewhere around 700 or 725 but if we bring the opposite side the back side to the sensor you see the analog output is approx around 200 and the digital output is one and just see one thing this is somewhere around 510 or 512 but as we bring it closer the value slowly decreases and at a set threshold the digital output turns on now we can adjust this threshold by turning this potentiometer if we turn it anti-clockwise it will decrease the sensitivity now it will decrease the sensitivity we need to bring the magnet more close to get the digital output activated and if we turn this clockwise then the sensitivity will increase but it will not increase above the half of the input value that means it will not go beyond 510 or 520 and if we bring the magnet vertically to the sensor this will not work whether we bring the north pole or whether we bring the south pole this will not work we have to bring it towards the face of this sensor if we bring the south pole to the top face it will work but if we bring it to the bottom face it will not work and if we bring the north pole to the bottom face it will work if we bring the north pole to the top face it will not work so today up to this i hope you do not have any confusion about this ky024 module but still if you have any query or question about this please ask me in the comments i'll definitely try to answer your question and if you like today's video do not forget to hit the like button and if you have not subscribed to my channel rg innovations please 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 subscribe your subscription will give me more inspiration to bring new videos so we will meet again in a new video till then bye bye take care thank you for watching